Are the walls titanium or made of secret rocket ship metal? What? I, who care? I know they're wicked easy to stain. Mm, then we can rule out any chromium-based metals. Those clean nicely with a damp cloth. All right. I'll rule that out. So, uh, you, uh, like being a, uh... A dean? Yeah, a dean. That must kind of, uh, suck. Hello Internet, my name is Billy and this is your Guide to the Ventureverse, a YouTube series in which I look at each episode of the Venture Brothers and give a brief synopsis, point out interesting facts, talk about its place in the greater canon of the show, and finish it off with some personal thoughts about the episode. In today's video we will discuss Season 2, Episode 12 of the Venture Brothers, Showdown at Cremation Creek, Part 1. This episode first aired on October 8th, 2006, and was written by Jackson Public and Doc Hammer. Let's get into it. After a reveal that the Monarch and Dr. Girlfriend have been secretly meeting up in a cheap hotel room for several weeks, the Monarch asks Dr. Girlfriend to marry him. She agrees under the condition that he gives up arching Dr. Venture. The majority of the episode takes place on their wedding day, the Venture family in attendance, and the episode ends with a cliffhanger surprise attack from Phantom Limb. Al holds an eyeball in front of his face and says he's in the residence. The residence is a band that often wears giant eyeball helmets while performing. The toy from which Hank gets his goatee is a puppet from 1975 called Hugo, Man of a Thousand Faces. This was essentially a human version of a Mr. Potato Head that came with disguises that kids could wear too. And on the subject of Hank's goatee, 21 says he looks like Mirror Mirror Hank. This is a reference to the classic Star Trek The Original Series episode, Mirror Mirror, in which an alternate universe Spock has a goatee. David Bowie shows up, but as of this episode, we still don't know what his role is in the Venture Brothers universe. He's accompanied by Iggy Pop and Klaus Nomi. Iggy Pop makes sense as they collaborated a bunch, but Klaus Nomi is a bit more of a wild card. As far as I could tell, they only collaborated once on a live performance on Saturday Night Live. Also, here's just a little clip of Klaus Nomi to prove he's just as weird as he appears in the show. When David Bowie says, I'll know it to God. It's a quote from his song, Modern Love. The character that the Order of the Triad manifested from a trading card is... Well, I have no idea how to pronounce his name, so it's there on the screen. Honestly, from a legal standpoint, I have no idea how they got away with this one. This is Sergeant Hatred's first speaking role, but at this time, he's voiced by a friend of the show, Brendan Small. Sergeant Hatred, pleased to meet you. This here's Princess Tidy Feet. Show him, honey. Show him a little gentleman. Mm -hmm. huh. so Phantom Limb hunts a bunch of Monarch's former prison mates who were last seen and powerless in the face of death, and Tiny Attorney who was last seen in the Trial of the Monarch. This episode also features a literal flashback to the Season 1 episode Midlife Chrysalis, when Dr. Venture realizes that the woman who seduced him is Dr. Girlfriend. <laughs> This episode feels different. It feels bigger, grander, cooler. Right from the very beginning with the intro credits, it just feels more cinematic. And Phantom Limb hunting the Monarch's old acquaintances is maybe the most sinister and intimidating Phantom Limb has ever been. And while the Venture Brothers has made references to itself before, this is the first time that the references feel less like fun Easter eggs and more like events with consequences that ripple throughout the series. Showdown at Cremation Creek Part 2 is where the show goes full-on epic mode, but this episode is slowly ramping up and building to that conclusion. I love it when setups get paid off, and I love the Venture Brothers. As always, thank you for watching and go Team Venture! Tune in next week for Showdown at Cremation Creek Part 2, and if you dug this video, share it with a friend. And if there was some huge glaring thing that I missed in this video, follow me on Instagram at VentureVerseGuide to see these videos a week early and offer your input before I upload the final product.